Did you know that a broiler chicken is highly nutritious? Do you know that the broiler chicken takes only one month? How about its profitability? Do you know that it only consumes three kilograms of feed to reach the market weight? Get your pen and notebook, highlight and paste all your concentration on this video as Farment takes you straight to the facts about broiler production in East Africa. As you speak, the Kenyan population stands at above 57 million with a 2.8% annual increase. To sustain food security amidst the negative impacts of climate change and land subdivision, efficient breeds, species and methods of production need to be timely embraced. The demand for protein sources increases second by second as new markets for the same emerge. Broiler Production Enterprise provides the solution to both food security and also as an income generating stream. Check out for the previous video on the facts and misconceptions about broiler chicken. Today we will delve into all the aspects of this lucrative enterprise. This production coverage will ride on the assumption that all the necessary fixed assets such as structures and equipment are in place because these are just one of costs. Ensure the structure is properly cleaned and disinfected at least two weeks prior to the placement. Ensure all biosecurity protocols are in place such as a medicated food dip, uh, hand wash and disinfection amenities, cleaned and disinfected feeders and drinkers, and also the water tanks. The birds should be served with multivitamins in their first three days water to alleviate transport and placement stress. The most important vaccines at the farm are Newcastle and the infectious basal disease. Marek's vaccine is always done at the hatchery. There are two main systems that are employed in uh, broiler production. The first one is open-sided house rearing. This involves manual manipulation of the environment in the controlling of temperature, ventilation and lighting. It is the most common uh, system of production, especially in East Africa. And this allows the farmers to have a stocking density of uh, between 12 to 15 birds per meter square. The other system of production is by the use of uh, environmentally controlled houses, uh, famously called the EC houses. This involves the automatic or computer regulated controls to temperature, ventilation and lighting. They provide a very high efficiency of production and hence one can do an average of uh, between 25 to even 30 birds per meter square. Brooding is the most important stage in a chick's life and the producer needs to get this right. For broilers, it's mostly the first two weeks of life. Important parameters to ensure that the chicks are drinking water and also feeding comfortably. Take at least a 10% crop check in intervals of 6 hours in the first 48 hours. This is just to ascertain that all the chicks have accessed feed and water. At this point, uh, we recommend for feed and water to be provided at ad libitum. Temperature needs to be regulated at this stage and it should fluctuate within the range of 30 to 34 degrees Celsius at all the time. Uh, farmers use different avenues to get the temperature right. Uh, some use uh, gas brooders, some use infrared bulbs, and also one can use charcoal, especially the uh, briquettes. Lighting is very important at this stage. Uh, the birds need light to access feed and water, and the recommended lux at this stage is 40 lux at chick level. Proper ventilation to ensure a balance between temperature and fresh air. This is just to avoid ammonia poisoning and also vent pesting. Uh, while in the uh, brooding stage. So these parameters need to be taken into concern because uh, when you fail it at the brooding stage, uh, the high chances of getting the right weights at cropping are very low and it leads uh, to farmer using a lot of feed and also uh, inputs to get the right weight to the market. So ensure that you get the brooding right. There are several management practices, but uh, in this video we'll just deal with the most critical management aspects that you sh should be looked into while doing broiler production. The first and most important is weight management. Weekly weighing is recommended to ensure that the birds are gaining weight in comparison to the breed standards. The other thing is uniformity. This is done through grading and selection of lighter birds and separating them from the heavy birds so that they can be boosted in terms of feed and water and also spaced. This is just to ensure that they catch up with the rest uh, before you do the cropping. Litter management is very important. This is the bedding for the birds and uh, raking should be done daily to avoid uh, litter caking, ammonia concentration, and also to reduce uh, the bird stress. The other aspects are flock house management, which are very important. This involves uh, temperature regulation, feed and drinkers cleaning, and also adjustment of the feeders and drinkers so that the birds can actually 
uh, get the feed and water at the right level. These are practices that should be looked into with a critical eye by the farmer. A discussion about feeding cannot be avoided. The average feed consumed by a broiler chicken from the point of placement to the point of slaughter is averagely 3 kgs. And it can be slightly lower or higher depending on the desired live weight and also the region. There are three major methods of feeding and those also depend on the producer and also the region in which the birds are being produced. The first stage is the five stage feeding and this is a stage where the chicken feed on five different types of feed uh, before they are cropped. Uh, with, uh, the first one is the pre-starter, the starter, the grower, the finisher and the post finisher. These ones are given in a range uh, difference of around five days uh, between one feed to the other. The other stage is uh, the three stage and this involves feeding the three types of feed of, uh, of, uh, to the birds before they actually are cropped. Uh, the first one is the starter, the grower and the finisher. So this is where the farmer starts with the starter feed, gives the grower feed from uh, around two weeks and then finisher feed in the last week of uh, production. We have the other stage which is the two stage. This is where the farmer only uh, feeds the birds the starter feed and the, for two weeks and then does the finisher in the last two weeks. The most common uh, feed stages are the three stage, that is the starter, grow and finisher, uh, especially in the region of uh, East Africa. So ensure as a producer that you use the best available quality of feed in the market. This is just to ensure timely growth of the birds and also they are thinking with the breed standards. The other thing uh, the feed helps you is to achieve a good uh, feed conversion ratio. Uh, FCR is a ratio of the amount of feed used to achieve one kilogram of broiler uh, live weight. The lower, the better. Uh, in environmentally controlled houses, we find uh, you can achieve an uh, FCR of uh, below uh, 1.4, while in open siding houses, for uh, good production, it actually comes to an average of 1.6. I know this is the point where most of you have been waiting for, and now here we come to look at the cost of production of uh, these broiler birds and also the profit that one can accrue from uh, doing broiler production. So the current market prices of a day old chick is between 90 to 100 and that depends on the company and also the breed that is being uh, sold. The cost of producing a broiler bird factors in the following inputs. Uh, that is the day old uh, chick purchases, the brooding cost, the feed cost, the labor cost and also the power. For most producers the average cost of uh, producing a broiler chicken uh, stands between 320 to 350 shillings, that's just in production of one bird. The market varies uh, with weight preferences. In some countries like Kenya, the preferred live weight is between 1.7 to 1.8 uh, kilograms. This is the weight that uh, most companies actually want uh, for processing. Uh, live weight in other countries like uh, Malawi and partly Uganda, the preference for birds, uh, broiler birds, is uh, the birds that actually have attained 2 kgs and above. Broiler birds have a dressing percentage of uh, 75%. When you talk about uh, dressing percentage, you mean uh, this bird, when it's alive and slaughtered, uh, we have those parts that are discarded. And the part that remains for market is actually uh, the carcass weight, which is uh, 75%. So this means that, uh, for example, if a farmer rears a bird to 2 kilograms live weight, after slaughter, the weight will be around 1.5 kilograms. So when you look at the profits uh, from uh, the sales of chicken, the average uh, price after slaughter in Kenya currently in the formal market is around 420 to 450 shillings. This actually uh, means that the producer who is not uh, processing his or her birds uh, gets a net profit of 100 shillings per bird. And as we all know that all livestock species play uh, with a game of numbers. That is, the higher the numbers you produce, uh, the higher also the proceeds. So for producers who slaughter and pack, and others also do value addition to the birds, eh, they actually get a profit of uh, 150 even to up to 200 shillings per bird. So this just shows you that uh, for one who is only producing the bird to sell in the market directly, uh, someone can make as high as 100 shillings, that's per bird. So if you're doing uh, high numbers, you can just calculate by 100. And if you are capable of also slaughtering and processing the birds, maybe packing and also doing some value addition, these uh, profits goes to as high as 200 shillings per bird. So as I told you, it's a very lucrative enterprise. So it's just for you to work with the numbers. 
and uh, see that this is what you can achieve in one month of production because uh, these birds do not stay long in the farm. Uh, on the issue of uh, marketing these birds, we having uh, different markets that are coming up. Uh, the most common ones are the hotels and restaurants that uh, people consume uh, the broiler chicken. We have institutions that uh, you can search for their orders and also be supplying them, uh, such as schools, hospitals and others. Uh, the major one in the modern uh, cities, we have cuckoo shops and also we have butcheries that are specifically doing uh, chicken and especially the broiler chicken because it's almost readily available in the urban setups. We have the fast food joints, especially those uh, chips and takeaway points. Uh, those are the places where uh, the broiler chicken are actually being taken at a high rate because they are easily uh, preparable, especially through uh, deep frying. And uh, mostly preferences in the urban setup are mostly aligning uh, in the path of the, the broiler chicken. The other uh, place that you can uh, sell your chicken is the supermarkets. Uh, most uh, supermarkets are providing uh, space uh, on the shelves for the broiler chicken. So do not shy away from producing uh, because uh, these are birds that uh, are actually uh, having a high demand. And especially as we're moving to the side of uh, food insecurity, uh, make sure that you delve into the business so that uh, you are better placed. Thank you for being a good student. Farmment also provides consultancy services and farm visits. Feel free to interact with us through our social media pages and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel.